Hello my friends, my name is Johnny M and today we are back into Farm Manager 2018. I decided to give this game another try after I stuck in the campaign mode. Uh, this time I'll play in free mode. Add the difficulty easy just because uh, I'm still learning the game and with the maximum amount of money which is 2 million. Again we'll have a pretty long uh, loading screen and I don't think my uh, hardware is uh, the bottleneck, I think it's just uh, the game. Uh, if you notice I let the default uh, seed for, for the map generation. Let's hope that uh, the map will be nice and easy for a noob like me, at least in Farm Manager. Okay, so uh, we are giving a lot of land, which is empty, and 2 million farm dollars, I suppose. Uh, okay, and we will get a 3000 uh, dollars if we build a farmhouse. I'll just pause the game for the time being. And before I'm, I will build the buildings, <clears throat> I would like right away to build some fields. Uh, that's for the main crops that we will start with. And it looks like the ma maximum size is 50 by 50. But I don't think uh, uh, the second field will be able to be 50. Let's put it 48 by 50. And another one. Yes, it's 48 here and on this side the same thing 50 by 48 meters yes it's quite small compared with uh, the fields that we used to from farming simulator okay so we have we have four fields nice fields we will build some roads Okay. Hmm. What else? Uh, now the buildings. Uh, from my little experience, I know that we gonna need lots of uh, parking lots, which is nice to have them near the the fields. Let's put one. Where are they? Huh, interesting. Okay, so we have to leave the game running at uh, at least the, uh, the slowest speed. Okay, the second garage. I will build a third one. Okay, and believe it or not, we will even need a fourth one. It's here. Okay, and a small garage. That's for the small vehicles. And here I would like to build a small field. Well, smaller than the other ones for grass. I don't know. I guess I know what I should do. I should put Hmm. I'm thinking what I should put. Okay, I'll just build the field, grass field like like this. Okay. Now, what else do we need? We need obviously 
the farm owner house house of mm -hmm. yes this is it I don't know if this is uh, the, the best placement I'll put it here and uh, let's put a road like this we also gonna need some house for permanent employees hmm, how should we effectively put them I'll put one here and then road like this so if needed I can put some other homes there Okay, what else do we need for seasonal employees? Not yet. Okay, so now, yeah, I th can we hire people or should we wait? Okay, permanent. No, it looks like we cannot hire them. Yeah, we'll have to wait until a house for permanent builders. Uh, we can start to build our park of uh, vehicles. So definitely we're gonna need a tractor. And we're gonna buy the biggest one. I think this is the biggest one. Okay. Labor office, hire an employee, okay. So what else we gonna need? We're going to need uh, a plow. We're gonna buy the the plow. Okay, what else? We're gonna need a cultivator, at least one. Again, we're gonna buy the biggest one in the same place. What else? After cultivator, we need a fertilizer. Hmm. Fertilizer spreader. We'll buy the fertilizer spreader. We'll put it in a small garage because we can. Uh, we're also gonna buy a manure spreader because uh, later, uh, well, manure it's a lot cheaper. So later we're gonna use manure. Next, uh, fertilizer mower. We're gonna have grass, so we will definitely need a mower. We'll put it in a small garage. Next, we're gonna need a wind rower. Again, in the parking lot. What else? We're gonna definitely need not a planter. A planter is for these. Okay, we're gonna need a precision seeder and a seed drill. Okay. And so was a, and a seed drill. Definitely. And we're also gonna need a wagon loader. I think this game has just one. That's for um, grass after it's mowed. A trailer with water, definitely. And for trailer, box trailer, so uh, I think we're gonna need also a box trailer and a self-loading trailer. Okay, so the uh, the rest of it we will get um, as we will play. So what we will sow on these fields? Hmm. I guess here it doesn't really matter but I will I'm gonna need the pin seed so I'm, now I'm just gonna order the uh, the seeds for the field so by you don't have a proper work. okay so yeah I forgot that I need storage buildings 
So uh, this is a small storage, right? We're gonna need a, a barn. Yeah, this is a barn, a more house with cooling. So barn, a barn should be somewhere in the middle because it is very heavily used, very often used. Let's put it uh, like here. Also, we're going to need a small warehouse. Let's put a row first. Small warehouse here. We're definitely later going to need some silos. Let's place them like the minimum one. Let's place it. Uh, do I have a good place for it? I'll place it there. Okay, what else? Maybe we should hire someone. We will wait until uh, they're built. In the meantime, we can hire someone with, with skills in um, driving and also uh, uh, this uh, strength, strength skill. It doesn't matter what level because we will train them later if needed. I can seem to find someone with these two skills. Unfortunately. Okay, uh, we'll take Efion Jill for the time being. Uh, later there will, I think they will reshuffle, so we're gonna get different um, options. What else? We're going to need some other storage, like um, manure storage, because we're gonna have cows at some point. We're gonna have silage production, storage for silage. Like this, we'll have to extend the road. Okay, so let's uh, try again to buy the seeds that we need. So we're gonna need lupine. Yes. Here we will uh, plant some uh, colza seed. Let's say corn, eight kilograms. Here some wheat, definitely. We need some wheat. Wait. Okay. Here we will need some, let's say, oat. Wheat seed. Have I seen oat? Yes. Oat seed. Yeah, 33 kilograms. And I also would like to have an orchard. Just because it's taking uh, very long to to mature, so we're gonna take again this maximum field and uh, put some apple trees by. And I think for the water we need some more uh, equipment. Uh, let's in the meantime start uh, plowing. Okay, and also one thing that we're gonna need later. Uh, well, I discovered, first of all, I discovered that the, the one thing that is um, going to provide us a very good amount of money is butchering cows, so slot or slaughtering house, just like in our farming simulator series. So, um, but, I, and for this, I would like to have uh, this uh, lar large uh, sheds for cows but the thing is you can see they require some uh, training and one of the training the first training required is annual agricultural school so this is basically a school uh, a class uh, which is taking very very long so uh, the faster you the faster you start it the better and yeah it, it's taking one year 
and it's quite expensive. So I will start it right now, as you can see. I hope we will have time to plant all the fields that we intended. I would want to buy some additional uh, equipment. Here let's cultivate it automatically. Okay, we for the orchard we I think we would need uh, a special uh, planter planter tractor. Oh, yeah, or orchard tractor. I forgot how it's called. Okay, in the meantime, as we're doing those jobs, we can start to um, place our um, uh, slaughterhouses, or at least one. Okay, so we have the small slaughterhouse, which is 80,000, and we have uh, just a slaughterhouse, which is 800,000. It's very expensive, but I assure you, it's going to pay off. So I think we can we could place it here. Okay, and of course, what I discovered is that you don't you don't really need to raise your cows or your animals to slaughter them. You can just buy them off the market, which is simpler. put it like here okay and I'll build a road I hope it's gonna work we're still are very low on money can we fertilize it oh yeah I forgot to buy some chemical fertilizer or we should we okay let's buy 1000 yeah because we have this field uh, let's say 1500 let's buy 1500 uh, manure manure because it's a lot lot cheaper than chemical fertilizer okay and because we have this manure spreader so we can afford to in the meantime I could uh, plow this field As soon as we'll have our cow shed built, I will build some cows and then I will start to hire people for a slaughterhouse. And you'll see, oh, there is one more building I think we need for a slaughterhouse because slaughterhouse outputs um, uh, meat. And for meat, you need a special um, warehouse. Uh, it's quite expensive a warehouse with cooling where I can put it interesting I uh, yeah but I, I can't I wanted to see if I can put another slaughterhouse here yeah but anyway I can't I cannot test it because I don't have um, okay where should I put this uh, Yeah, I'll put it here. It's not very far from the slaughterhouse. Okay, as soon... Hmm. Does the game actually tell us, for example, what is the number of days of, you know, the growing, the growing um, uh, interval of all the type of crops like bean seed efficiency oh it gives us an, an efficiency that's great hmm that's uh, I, I never saw this actually hmm, lupin it's it's very efficient corn wow so much less per hectare so 
So I guess Lupin is very, very profitable. It should be very profitable. Also Oat, as you can see. Yeah, but it doesn't give us the, the time. As soon as this will finish. Come on, I have faith in you. Okay, la yeah, we'll, we'll need to fertilize it first with manure. Except, okay. Here we can already, yeah, we need to hire someone proficient in taking care of cows, but it's, it's not really important because we will uh, slaughter right away all the cows that we have. But still, uh, I'll hire someone at least uh, a little bit proficient in uh, animal caring. Gabriel Murphy. Let's say, do we have anyone else? Ideally, I would like someone with animal caring and also uh, strength. But. Okay, we'll just hire Dexter, right? Okay, here. And we're gonna buy right away six cows. And as soon as the slaughterhouse is finished, or we could already start to look for people proficient in, you know, with strength and um, manufacturing skill. Huh, none, none, that's, that's strange. Yeah, because last time when I played, I, I found plenty of people with those two skills. But now it looks like no one has them, has them both, I mean. Okay, here's the quantity of products, and this is what? Orchards. Mm. Let's take Roman Johnson and Martha Dean for the time being, and Effion O'Neill. Who else? Who else? Let's take Jessica Scott. I guess it's enough for, for the time being. Okay, let's... Uh Hire everyone that we have with skills and set the pro current production. I don't really understand how this works, but I know that I, if I set it to like just the default, I, I take it here, it will automatically uh, slaughter everything that we have. I mean, all the animals that we have. Come on, we're waiting for fertilization. And did they start the production? Yes, they started. We already can order some other cows. Finally, we can see the lupin. Yeah, I guess this uh, house for permanent employees is not uh, 
doesn't have the best placement because they have to go a long way to the to the parking lots unfortunately I didn't think about this I don't care. I. Uh, it, it's it telling us that we don't have a proper house. That's for the meat, for yeah, for the cow meat. But it will be finished soon. Uh, the problem is that we don't have uh, uh, food for cows. But I don't think that this is gonna be a problem. Because as soon as this is filled with animals, with cows, uh, they're they're taken out into the slaughterhouse. Yeah, I'm really afraid that we will not have time this year to process all these fields because we have just one set of uh, equipment just one tractor basically with all the tools but at least Lupine is is ready okay the second one I think will be This field is it finished? I hope. Yeah, it really takes a lot of time until uh, the worker goes to the to the parking lot. That's really not a good placement. I should figure out something. Maybe I should demolish this parking lot and put my house for permanent employees here. Yeah, really. I'll should I do it now? Yes, we already have we already have um, cow meat. We can put it here to monitor, and also we can uh, set it to auto auto sell, uh, like auto trade. It's called actually. I'll put like everything that's above one hundred. Okay. But at this moment we can sell whatever we have. And you see just one transaction, the first one transaction, and we already have 165,000. That's why I said that probably it's too overpowered. But it is what it is. Okay, this field is plowed. But as I said, I would like to put a permanent employee building rather here okay I'll put it here and then I'll be able to relocate the people there so Lupin is gonna take 78 days Okay, it's not the longest, I think I've seen uh, crops with a, a lot longer, um, you know, maturing uh, uh, period. We could buy at least some grass to not let our cows starve. Let's see the price of grass. It's, uh, quite cheap okay we order it 
that's the great thing in this game um, you don't have to produce yourself everything so you you decide for each crop what do you want to produce and how much uh, the rest of it you can just order out of the market so should we hire one more employee which has the required skills again no one with the needed skills at least we i found someone which could be a better driver than the current one and we're gonna put it right away in this building okay so we need to fertilize this now no fertilize it choose manure uh, autofill no gonna take Emily Emily it's better for this job and how many workers I think we can release yeah the rest of them don't, don't really matter where are they just the driver it's better to be here um, closer to the fields one more thing we should buy in advance would be the, um, the sprayers the sp yeah the sprays so spraying antifungus will buy a hundred kilo it's expensive I know but we will need them all three of them just to have them in our storage when the time will come we already can sell the cow meat yeah look at it <laughs> it's really overpowered I think but at least it will let us you know um, play the game without worrying about making money and uh, figure out how how things uh, things work yeah uh, here is it finished uh, oat seed to fill except yeah I almost forgot I wanted to hire someone with uh, skill in production and strength again no one has these two skills unfortunately we'll, ta we'll take Elsie Newton and put her let's put her here and hire it hire her into the slaughter building yeah the seating is uh, longer than other uh, actions I assume that's because the cedars uh, have uh, small they're narrower than other tools okay we can start the plowing on this field Okay, we can look uh, Emily Turner we can train her to the max because she's very important for us okay and we have uh, a bonus for an achievement oh I forgot to buy cows and yes I definitely should build a second uh, cow shed almost forgot let's 
extend the road first like this why two cow sheds because if one is out of uh, cows the second one can take its function oh oat okay I started uh, this let's cultivate it now we should definitely uh, water these two fields because otherwise the crop quality is going down keep forgetting to buy more cows job we should also buy someone proficient in animal caring oh Toby Lee that's that's a good candidate because he, he has both skills that we need and also Elliot Begum it's uh, basically the same Toby Lee he looks um, younger we'll hire him I'll put him here okay and we'll order some cows right away yeah I think we run out of time so we will definitely continue next time thank you guys for watching if you have any suggestion of what I should build and how should I build, then please leave it in the comment section below. I wish you all a great day and I hope to see you all next time. Bye bye.